Written by Eight, Johnny Soonfax from, uh, six, from the Bahamas. Five, hey, it's four, the Bahamas. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Those weapons getting up to speed. Spartan making its way across. Jackrabbit full custom build from Drew Davis. Now, later, like, like late in this competition, now I think this is either the third or the fourth fight for Spartan. We're seeing much better drive, much better reliability from that robot. Yeah, Get Johnny and his team now. just delivered a big hit against Drew, and Drew seems to be losing, lost the weapon belt there. Yep, yep, the weapon is down on Jackrabbit. That weapon's humming along just fine on Spartan, though. Now, can Johnny uh, deliver this kill shot here in the next two minutes? Ooh. It's always a balance when you're in this particular situation. Do you go for the kill shot, or do you just try to win that judge's decision? High risk, high reward choices. Now, if you're going to be facing Drew Davis, you have to earn the knockout because Drew will outdrive you. Every time. He is one of the best drivers at Norwalk, and you can see it here. He's picking his angles. He's really trying to show control with more than 90 seconds left in this fight. Jackrabbit is almost never knocked out. It's an extremely rare occurrence. It's just a very reliable bot. The weapon will go down, but they will keep functioning. They've only been knocked out one time in 2021 total. Incredible. All right, this is a good pin from Jackrabbit on Spartan. Really pushing him up against the rails. The judges are looking for damage, for aggression and control, and it looks like this is a pretty even match to me, Kyle. Yeah, pretty close right now. I'd say if we're gonna It'd be uh, guessing about control. Jackrabbit's got a little bit more pushing power. They got a little bit more control than Spartan at this point. But Spartan might just not be hitting the right angles. There you saw that nice kind of S-curve maneuver that Drew Davis did to get around to the side of Spartan and push it along. 40 seconds left in this fight. That's another good, good uh, corralling move from Drew Davis. And another pin up against the rail. And all that Spartan can do is just wait for that pin to, uh, to get released. Loser's bracket round four. One of these drivers will be going home in 20 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapons. Make your way to the door if you can. This one will go to the judges. Wow. That was a good driving match. It was a good driving match. Let us see if the uh, the judges are going to lean toward damage or toward aggression and control. It's a good question. Uh, let's start with you, Jack. What do you think about this fight? Jackrabbit versus Spartan. I would again give it to Jackrabbit. They massively controlled the fight once both weapons were down and damage ended up even because both weapons still died. So it's got to go to them. Jack Tweedy for Jackrabbit. I would say that there is a Jack bias, but I think it's more of a reality bias. Oh, that's fair. Yep. All right. How about you, Andrew? Your thoughts on this fight? Yeah, kind of similar idea. Um, once both weapons were down, um, you know, that belt came off a little earlier on Jackrabbit, but once both were in play, I'd call that damage being equal. And uh, Jackrabbit literally drove in circles around Spartan for a little bit. So I'm going to say for control and aggression, we're going to go with Jackrabbit. All right, we've got two votes for Jackrabbit. Don, take us home. Yeah, it's got to be Jackrabbit. After both weapons down, Jackrabbit just did well pinning and just pushing them across the arena. All right. Fair enough. Jackrabbit survives in the loser's bracket. All right. Congratulations, Drew Davis and Jackrabbit. Let's give a round.